What's up, kings and queens, friends and family, and supporters of Tune 215. Welcome back to the channel. Right now, we are in West Philadelphia. We're going to be doing a tour of the Squirrel Hill neighborhood. It's located south of Baltimore Ave and west of Clark Park. It shares the border with Spruce Hill and Cedar Park neighborhoods. And they say by some accounts, it is, you know, really close to University City. It has similar boundaries. So right now, we are passing 47th and Woodland Avenue. We're gonna take this down to Springfield. If you look at it on the map, square, squirrel, I said square, squirrel hill, kind of looks like a triangle. We have Springfield Avenue as a boundary. We have 46th Street as a boundary. And then the last boundary is kind of, it's kind of not defined too well, but we got Linmore Ave. We just passed Linmore Ave. We're currently passing Raynard. We're now traveling past the intersection of 47th and King Sessing Avenue. I have a vehicle behind me. I'm doing 18 miles an hour. You see it's a cloudy day. We got some beautiful buildings on the left-hand side. Nice brickwork, nice wood trim. We got this Miller Lite beer distributor truck on my left-hand side blocking opposing traffic. We got University City Mini Market on my left-hand side. We're on 47th and Chester Ave. And as you can see, that building says University City. University City has a uh, college campus on it and it has several medical buildings. We're passing 47th and Chester Avenue. I'm gonna get out of this lane and I'm gonna allow this vehicle right here to pass me because he's going extremely fast and I want you guys to see the neighborhood. We have another vehicle flying. So let me allow them to go by me because it looks like everybody has some place to go. Look, they beat me to the red light. So I'm gonna allow them to go to the red light before me one more vehicular device and then we're gonna just casually drive. So you guys can take a look at some of this, this uh, detail to these homes. We have a really nice, huge church in front of us on Springfield Ave. Springfield Ave is the border. This neighborhood, make note, it's kind of a small neighborhood. So we might get done it, you know, sooner than an hour. If you're not familiar with this channel, I try to keep these tours within an hour. Hour is our uh, time limit. So once we reach the hour mark, the tour's over. But I have a feeling we might, you know, circle this neighborhood a couple times because it's so small on the map. We're gonna take this yellow. We're on 47th and Springfield Avenue. I'm making this left on the 4700 block of Springfield Avenue. I'm gonna try to slowly drive by here. I do have a Chevy Impala behind me. I don't know what they're, I'm gonna let them pass. Just cause we got plenty of time to do this neighborhood. And yeah, and they were already in my tail. We got a readyfresh.com uh, water delivery service on my left hand side traveling four miles an hour look at the the porches on the left hand side the porches are awesome they're painted like the woodwork is painted like a two-tone accent they got shingles on the porches uh they got the a-top on the porch on the corner of the building you see up top there's like that cone that's that switzerland inspired cone architecture we got massachusetts tags on my left jersey tags on my right look at that building on my right hand side that building is decent Look at that building, look at the stonework, look at the lawn. They got yellow, what's that, daisies? What's a yellow flower? I don't know, it's a yellow flower. It could be probably, there's probably a dozen different yellow flowers. But this is on 48th Street. 48th Street is also known as Higginbotham Way. We're on 48th and Springfield Avenue. But that looks awesome. I really like that building right there. Let's make this left hand turn on 48th Street. We'll do what we normally do, zigzag and spin it around a couple times. Check it out, look at these houses on my left. They all have those cone tops, or some of them have like a, like a flat style cone top. It's not a, a, a cylinder, but it's like a triangle still passing Trinity Street. It's still somewhat of like a triangle design. I have a vehicle behind me, guys, I'm sorry. Students, welcome. There's apartment housing on my right-hand side. And on my left-hand side on 4725 Chester Ave, we have efficiency and one-bedroom apartments. We're on 48th and Chester. 
I'm so close to pulling over. I'm gonna allow these vehicles to go. It's like in a massive, like, wow. We got a massive amount of vehicles around here. Oh, check this out. We see this pretty cool little cute car right here. Look at this little teeny car right here. What is this? I'm going over to the other lane so y'all can see this. Uh, it's called a Mighty Boy. Wow. That's not even an American vehicle, is it? Let me take a better look. Who who makes that? Y'all gonna have to Google that for me. I mean, obviously, by the time you guys are watching this, I can Google it <laughs> my, myself. But you guys can put your info. Who makes the Mighty Boy? Passing 4,800 block of Regent. Let's go. Nah, I don't want to turn a Regent because remember I said this neighbor is shaped like a triangle? That's going to throw us off of our boundary. We might cross over. You know, we're next to King Sessing and all of that, Clark Park and all that stuff. So we might cross a boundary here and there, but just take it in for what it's worth. Those houses in front of us are in pairs of two. Looks like they have a side alleyway. We have this young female right here crossing the street with highlighter yellow hair. She's texting and or replying to a Instagram status or Facebook um, like or something of that nature. <laughs> I don't know what she was doing. She was probably ordering pizza from Domino's. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. She was probably liking one of the Tune 215 videos. She's probably one of the latest subscribers. All right, so as you can see, we're blocked off here. I'm going to make this right-hand turn just because we can't keep going straight. That's the downside. But let's see what we can do about this detour. I'm going to drive slow. I don't have nobody behind me. Believe me, this is probably going to be one of the slowest tours that I'm going to try to do because it's a small neighborhood. And, you know, why not? Why not just drive slow in the really small neighborhoods? We're on King Sessing Ave. We're now approaching King Sessing Ave at 49th Street. So we would have to make a left. Well, we don't have to make, but we could make a, a left um, on this street right here, um, 49th Street, because we got, what's, what was that? Lin, Lindley? L Linmore, I'm sorry. Linmore Ave. Limor Ave is like one of the most defined borders, but then I don't know if there's like a train that passes here or something. It doesn't really show a exact name for that borderline. So I'm gonna make this left here. We got trolley tracks. We still got trolley lines up top. We're back to our traditional two-story homes and we're back to tailgaters. I'm gonna try to drive slow with these tailgaters on me un until they beep. Normally I don't like to drive fast, man. Like they, they, they got chill, man. Just take a chill pill. Look at it. Yellow light, red light, boom. No reason to rush. We got Grande 49th Street Food Market on my right hand side. We're at 49th and Greenway Avenue. On my right hand side, we got the SEPTA Woodland Maintenance Facility. That's where they keep their trolleys and SEPTA buses. All right then. Greenway Ave. We can travel down 49th Street. We got a trolley coming up. This is one of the more modern trolleys. We have the older original trolleys on Gerard Avenue, like around Northern Liberties. Takes you to the casino. Passing 4800 block of Yoakum Street. And we still have vehicles behind me. We have to be cautious here because we have a SEPTA employee working on the tracks. We're next to the 52 and the 64 bus stop. I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to get out of this guy's way. As you can see, he's right there working in the middle of the street. Let me stop right here because it's a red light. Meanwhile, you guys can admire his ambition. This gentleman is employed, probably making some, some pretty good change to be doing what he's doing right there. It looks like he's working on one of those electrical boxes. There's something on the ground that he's scooping gunk out of. It looks like he's scooping some type of, I wouldn't say sewage, but it is slimy and sludgy. It's probably like just mud. Passing Woodland Ave, 49th and Woodland. And we got Saybrook. We got the Evangel Temple Church of Deliverance on my left-hand side. Let's make this left down Saybrook because we got Pasco Ave coming up, but we're about to come off of our, our border. But hey, like I said, we might periodically you know, cross lines here, but please forgive me. 
we got St. Paul Tabernacle United Holy Church of America on my right hand side. As you guys can see from my, you know, hundred or so plus tours that are narrated, we have uh, a fair amount of churches located throughout of Philadelphia. Some neighborhoods are like every other corner there's a church. We're on Hanson, on Hanson Street and Saybrook Street. We just turned off of Saybrook, now we're on Hanson. I remember this block, which still hasn't changed for months at a time, because I took a leak right here one time. <laughs> I had to take a leak. There's always dumping right here. Never fails. Every time I come through this block, there's always dumping. This is around the corner from Gray's Ferry Avenue. Always dumping. Look at that. Check it out. Tons of dumping. Yeah, I parked up here before, and um, I had to take a, take a number one, you know? I mean, when you got to go, you got to go. If you cross over, there's a little overpass over there. It'll take you, like, you'll start working your way towards the Bartram Gardens and stuff. All right, so let's try to stay on task here. There's a no outlet in front of us. I'm going to make this right-hand turn. I'm going to allow oncoming traffic to pass. Let's make this right-hand turn. All right. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn once again, so we can try to keep zigzagging. We got the 12 bus and the 64 bus next to us. The 12 bus goes to what? Fifth and Woodland via Grace Ferry and 64 goes to 49th and what's that? Parkside? Yeah, Parkside. Bartrams Gardens to my left or Bartrams Garden, not gardens. 49th and Paschco Ave. Speed limit is 25 miles per hour. We got a beautiful mural across the street on my right hand side. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on 49th Street. Got a young lady waiting for the bus right there. This is Saybrook. This is the. Um, oh, we got a dog right here on my left hand side. Yo, dog, don't get hit. No! Look, look on my left hand side. Y'all see the little doggy? Oh, the dog's out. The dog got, got a collar. Man, that dog escaped. Yo, this is the second tour that I've done seen an escaped animal on the loose. Probably like the third. All right, let's make this left-hand turn because we just came past this building. Remember, we was on 49th. I'm going to make this left on Woodland. We got Bargain World on my right-hand side. The electronics, toys, kitchen, um, bedding, clothing, and more. It's a discount store, like a variety store. That's what you can call it. We're at 50th and Woodland Ave. Now I'm gonna make this right-hand turn and I'm gonna to try to take it back up to Springfield. For the reason being that this is the King Sessing neighborhood, very familiar to me. So like I said, <laughs> we're gonna be crossing paths here because of the, the shape of, we're making this right on 50th Street because of the shape of Squirrel Hill. That neighborhood is, like I said, it's triangular and it does share boundaries with these other neighborhoods. So we're probably way off already, but it's cool. I'm gonna to try to do my best to get back to Springfield. Once we get to Springfield Ave, we can try to like work from 46, 46th Street in Springfield, which is the outer perimeter. We're passing 50th and Greenway. I'm just gonna take this straight up. We have a school on my left-hand side. Feel free to name that school in the comment section. That's why I leave the comment section open so that you guys can engage, share your knowledge, thoughts, memories, anything of that nature. Passing Upland, we passed the 5,000 block of Upland Street. I'm traveling nine miles an hour. I'm gonna try to slow it down. We got Maine tags on my right-hand side, Maine. We got Minnesota tags on my right-hand side. We got King Sessing Recreation Center right in front of us. As you can see, King Sessing. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this right. No, no, because if I make that right, then we're going to be back on the same block that we was at. I'm, I'm going to allow the South Philly Towing Company to go by. Let's go around King Sessing, right? This little uh, rec center. And I'm going to try to work my way back up to Springfield Ave from this right turn I'm going to make up here on 51st Street. Meanwhile, you guys can take a look at the neighborhood. 
it's a gloomy day it's supposed to be like a 70 degree high today but no sun so it's just gonna be one of those i mean it's not bad it's not the end of the world I'm not the biggest fan of sun anyway. I can do with like a little sun, but once it becomes like a sauna, no, I'll pass. You guys can have that one. I don't need a tan. I don't need to get any darker. <laughs> but I do get dark like in the summer. Yo, it's green light, dude. What are you doing? Yeah, um, I don't need to get any darker. But make note, when the sun hits, I do get um, quite toasty. All right. Yeah, I absolutely remember this from the King Sessing tour. We had the Free Library of Philadelphia on my right-hand side. Except on that tour, we went left here. I don't know if you remember. You you remember, remember? We went on the left-hand side. We're gonna go on the right-hand side. We're gonna take this past Chester. Look, we got another trolley. So the trolleys are out here heavy in West Philly. There's regular buses too, but... This Chrysler 300 on my left hand side has a completely bombed out, bomb is slang for like limo tinted black front windshield. Now, normally, if you go to other counties, they'll give you tickets for that. They do not um, play when it comes to the limo tints, especially on regular vehicles. In Philly, you can get away with it. There's like Toyota Corollas, there's Honda Accords, Honda Civics, there's all types of cars that not only rock 5% on their left and right and rear windshield, but they do it on the front. Now that's real tricky because you better be prepared to get pulled over often. You got to have a good excuse. I think there's a few medical conditions that allow you to have front windshields tinted. We got Connecticut tags on my right hand side. To be honest, I might, we're on 51st and Springfield Avenue. I'm going to make this right on Springfield and we're just going to stick with this little neighborhood right here. Remember, if we pass Springfield, then we're not in the Squirrel Hill neighborhood. I got to make sure I pronounce Squirrel because my mind wants to say square. <laughs> Square Hill, but it's squirrel, like a like like the little hamster, little little, little hamster looking thingy majiggy, the little gerbil thingy majiggy. That's me talking squirrel because I speak squirrel fluidly or fluently. Let's make this right on Divinity Street. Got Indiana tags on my left hand side. That little Pontiac vibe. You feel the vibe, right? You already know the vibes, but um. Yeah, so I might qualify for limo tint. I'll be completely honest with you. One of my vehicles had tint on it for like for like 10 years, and I recently peeled it off last year because I'm not. I think I outgrown the tint thing. They're like, Tumba, what are you talking about? Like, I'm 63, and I still have tint. You can never outgrow tint. I don't know. I think it defaces certain vehicles. Like, if you got, I guess, like a big luxury car, black on black on black, you know, you know, black color with like you know black detail black accent maybe some black rims and you want black tint then okay oh look at this little ef this little 1988 through 1991 honda civic hatchback on my right hand side that's the fourth generation platform that's the fourth body they ever released when they came out with honda civics but anyway that shows my age so you know um we just left the 1100 block of divinity street but yeah, so I used to have 10. I didn't have 5% tent because I get pulled over very often, especially with my tenant vehicle. I used to get pulled over a lot. But um, what you gonna call them? What you gonna call it? Remember that candy bar? The what you gonna call it? Yo, what you gonna call it? I told my wife about my what you gonna call it, and she thought that I was faking. She 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 was like, there ain't there ain't no candy bar called what you gonna call it. I'm like, what? Google, boom, what you gonna call it? You see, she be thinking that I be making stuff up. But anyway. <laughs> That's messed up when your own wife thinks you make stuff up. We're on 49th and Chester Ave. I'm gonna make this left right here. Now we're back on 49th. We got Jennifer Grocery on my right. But like I was saying for the third time, check out these houses while I'm casually talking. Let me let me sum it up quickly too. Sum it up faster. No problem, sir. Let him cross. Um, so I might qualify for a limo tent. We got Virginia tags on my left because I have vitiligo, a skin condition. Same with the Michael Jackson, Sammy Sosa, Joe Rogan, and several other individuals have. We just passed Trinity Place. That's the name of the street. Now we're back on Springfield Ave, 49th and Springfield Ave. We got Wally Mini Market on my right-hand side. And New York Tags on my right. But yeah, I may or may not qualify for, because I, my, my skin has like um, blotchy patches of porcelain, like what you can say, peach, pink. You know, like it almost looks like, I guess, you know, a Caucasian gentleman. 
past that nice Volkswagen. Y'all seen that little Volkswagen bus, right? That joint was nice. I'm driving slow now. We're doing three miles an hour because there's nobody behind us. Beautiful floral. You see how the flowers are blooming? We got pink on the left. We got some yellowish on the right. We got some, some leaves that are dying on my left, the, the tan ones, but it's cool. Yeah, I have vitiligo, vitiligo. Same thing that Mr. Jackson had. It progresses on different people at different speeds. Um, mine has slowed down some, somewhat, but I prepare for it to, you know, when I hit my, my, my 40s, if it has to, it might spread all, all over even more than what it already is. Past Massachusetts text. I have it primarily on my hands, some on my lips, um, some of different spots in my body, but primarily my hands. I did go to see a dermatologist in University City, priceless, right? We're like right next to University City. And I went to one of the pen specialists that deal with dermatology, um, like five minutes from here. And um, that's when I was in my twenties. We're on 47th and Springfield Ave. And I'm gonna just keep going straight, y'all. We gonna sh go straight and we gonna casually talk. And I'm gonna sum this little vitiligo conversation up real quick. When he put the UV light on my face, I had tons of speckles all over my face. and which showed me that I do have more vitiligo than what it seems. And the sun affects that. You understand? Um, we're passing Farragut Trail. So, yeah. So, maybe I might be able to legally get documentation provided by the, the, the medical physician or the doctor saying that I need limo tint to protect my skin. Because my hands are on the steering wheel right now. We're on 46 in Springfield. I'm going to make this right on 46 because I feel like it. But, um... We got apartments on my left hand side and a home and we have some apartments those those three-story buildings that's apartments you see with the little porches on my right this thing looks let me slow down i got cars behind me i'm gonna park up just so that they can go around me see we had a jogger jogging by but yeah so but that goes to show you even i can probably qualify for limo tip but i don't i don't want it what do i want to drive around like at night you know how complicated that is to see and then i had cataracts well i got the implants now and my nighttime vision it's it's not the sharpest you understand i mean i got pretty sharp vision as of now with the two different implants that they put in my eyes but still you know what i mean like i don't desire limo tint so all right dude you're you're more than welcome to to go by me because if you just go on and stand there in the middle of the street then you understand? I got people behind me that are that are in. Oh, he oh, he's gonna make a whole U-turn. Yeah, he was kind of close to me there, so I pulled over and let him go. But he wanted to make a whole U-turn. Oh, yo, look at the yellow the yellow highlighter chick. Yo, what's that yellow highlighter chick? You're famous. You're on the World Wide Web now. <laughs> she gonna watch this one day, like, dude, it's golden. It's not yellow. We got Elmwood Community Methodist Church on my left hand side. Look at these homes. They have. They're primarily made out of brick, but then the accents consist of wood, shingles, vinyl siding, and or aluminum siding. That can be argued in some cases. <laughs> um, they got woodwork on the porches. The porches are wood. They got two sets of steps that go up to the front door. Apartments on my left-hand side. So some of them may or may not be apartments. Some may be homes. I would like one of those buildings as a home. I would not like one of those buildings as an apartment. But if I can own one of those buildings, then that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. We got Clark Park on my right-hand side. Remember I told you guys that it shares the same boundaries? So we're at 45th and Chester Ave. Go, go ahead, buddy, because I'm in no rush. And if I pass you, it's a good chance you might rush me. So we're passing the 1100 block of 45th Street. We got Clark Park on my right-hand side. We got HMS School on my left-hand side. Look like they're doing some work here. Yeah, they're doing some some cement work. They're paving the, the sidewalk to the park, to Clark Park. We have a dude on my left-hand side here stretching, and he's doing some type of, it looks like some type of sorcery, like some dance stretch, like he's about to start break dancing on my left-hand side. Yo, yo, what are you doing? Like, Tai Bo or Taekwondo? Or oh, no, he, he, he dancing. Yeah, but, but where the music at? Like, he was over there getting down, and he was at a shindig. <laughs> We got the 13 trolley next to us. I'm assuming that takes you to Yaden. We're at 43rd and Chester. We got a jogger on my right. We got a female with a baby on my left hand side. She had that thing wrapped or had that young, yo, that baby looks so teeny. Is it a baby or is it a dog? 
I'm confused. I almost want to ask you, excuse me, man. Like, is that a baby or is that a dog? I'm, I'm going to go straight one more block. Public Health Center on my left-hand side. Lower Mill Creek Garden on my right-hand side. Traveling so slow. We're doing five miles per hour. Look at these houses on my right-hand side. They're in pairs, row home style, but they have the brick uh, facade, the brick fronts. Some of them are apartments, some of them are homes. We got apartments on my left-hand side, Lexington, New Age Apartments, Chester Hill Apartments, several apartment buildings, the Green Zang Apartments, beer and groceries on my right-hand side. We're at 42nd and Chester. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn here on 42nd and Chester Ave. I remember this neighborhood very, very, very well. This is the neighborhood that I came. Uh, we got Crust Vegan Bakery on my left-hand side, a bakery. <laughs> Give it a round of applause. Tune gotta make a stop there to see what it's hitting for. But um, yeah, right up up the block at the Starbucks coffee, I had a University City student try to revive one of my hard drives a couple years ago. I had a 4.5 um, terabyte hard drive get messed up. Passing Regent Street. Let's be clear here, or, Re or Regent Square, I'm sorry. Let's be clear here, it didn't just get messed up. My dog Jersey fought with my other dog, rest in peace, Brownie when they first met around the first couple months of them being, you know, familiar with each other or being introduced to each other. We got Starbucks on my left, Tasty Drake's and whatnot. I was in that second floor of that Starbucks meeting this dude. We're passing 42nd and Woodland. We on the U Sciences um, campus. We got, you know, the Joseph W. England Library on my left. U Sciences campus, um, di uh, which is a direction board, directional map located on my right-hand side, passing Weather Real, Weather Real Way. We got the, um, the alumni hall. Oh, I'm sorry, I almost had a hiccup. Rosenberger Auditorium on my left. <clears throat> We're at 43rd and Woodland Avenue. Let's make this right. Let's go up here so y'all can see some of this area. But yeah, so we got U Sciences next to us. This is all their, their campus. So in the summer, this is usually blooming with um, college students. Yeah, so Jersey and my dog fought while I was in the middle of editing, like, like a, a high-profile client at the time. I was editing their their music video. We just made this left on Forty Third Street. I was editing their music video, and unfortunately, she um and her and them. I've just fed them both. I'm trying to do a good deed while I was editing. They was behind me, so I usually always make sure to feed them. And they had their own separate bowls, but. Brownie used to eat his food super fast. <laughs> that made me smile. I almost want to cry because I miss him. We're passing King Sessing Mall on 43rd Street. He used to swallow his food. He ain't play no games. Past Oregon Tech. And and he tried to dip into her bowl and she wasn't having that. Jersey does not play. Like the only person that can go into her bowl is me. <laughs> Massachusetts tags on my right and New York tags. Let's make it right here so y'all can see this little block. Looks um rustic it looks like you know original style we got a jogger on my left she jogs number 14 for the tigers um yeah so he used to swallow his food and i guess while i was editing i had my headphones on like i'm getting in and my edit and she jumps into his bowl i mean he jumps into her bowl and she wasn't having it she attacked him and he started they started biting each other back and long story short i try to separate the fight they ended up Tang, like yanking the hard drive down from my computer table and smashing it on the ground and it was in the middle of the edit so you know that that disc was still spinning you know the hard drives have like a, a memory disc on the inside it destroyed my hard drive and I was saddened I was heartbroken because not only you know did they fight and they, they both had you know some some blood you know they, was, they both scratched each other up pretty well and bit each other up but they ruined my hard drive which was on a high client high profile client drive a high profile client project and that pro and then I had to explain it to, to them and then we had to reshoot scenes and I paid like what what we pay we paid like 300 bucks to, to try to retrieve the files and he retrieved some files he just didn't retrieve the most important files the most important things that I was looking for so he spent like a week almost like four or five days to a week trying to retrieve files but all all that money and waiting for for nothing. I was stressed. That was one of the most stressful situations I ever had. 
like when it came to video pr pr production, you know, because I'm a director, cinematographer, and editor. Uh, let's see. Let's make this right, right? <laughs> let's make this right, right? Because we already came up this block on my left, but let's make this right, and then let's make a a left because we already made the right there. Remember at the corner on Woodland Ave. Let's make this left on the 4100 block of Woodland Ave. But yeah, so had to reshoot some scenes. But I mean, during the reshoot, we ended up getting more females to come out. So that worked out to their benefit, I guess. You know what I mean? They say everything happens for a reason, but rest in peace, Brownie. I miss you, bro, bro. I think about you often. All right, so on my left-hand side, we got some nice looking original brick pointed homes. It looked like they just pressure washed it and redid the pointing. We got a nice mural on my left-hand side. It looks really, really nice. We got two, we got, three of them three of them got open ports just one of them has a closed porch three-story homes we got university of sciences in philadelphia building on my left hand side usp space available there now leasing we have some open greenery on my right uh should i make this left here i should have made that left there let's let's go straight right and let's make this left right here on chester Ave. Let me make this left right here on Chester Ave. We got a jogger right here. She's jogging with her facial protection. We at 41st and Chester. Look at the building right there on my right hand side. It's a nice looking space. One thing I noticed most of the historical neighborhoods and or richier neighborhoods and or college campus related neighborhoods have a lot of them best buildings the best architecture the best detail which tells me very prominent people probably lived in this neighborhood 100 200 years ago we got florence garden on my left hand side we got georgia tags on my right and another dog walker back to the mask thing a lot of people be saying we connecticut tags jersey tags what else what, what else y'all are gonna hit me with here a lot of people new york on my left florida on my right jersey on my left yeah so texas on my right whoa oh connecticut on my right wow this was a diverse block but yeah, a lot of people be saying like, why are you wearing a mask? Like you're outside. We're on 41st and Baltimore Avenue. Well, if you're like me, I kind of like the privacy. Like I used to wear a mask two years, three years before masks became a thing. So make note, if you go look at my page and you go look at my vlog here, 2018. In 2018, I was wearing a vlog for 365 minus one, 364 days of the year. I wore a mask daily. And people were probably looking at me like I was crazy. Like I was strange. I remember when I used to walk places, I used to not only wear like just like my masks weren't the medical masks. I used to wear like full face masks too. Um, we're passing New Horizon Housing on my left hand side, 41st and Baltimore Ave. And people, Virginia tags. And people would probably think that I was, you know, odd and strange. But who knew two years later, South Carolina tags. Boom. We got, um, Apartments on my left hand side, apartments at Penn. Look at this building on my right. It's a nice looking building. It's probably an apartment building. Cause if that's a home, sheesh. There's an apartment because you got a bunch of buzzards. We're at 41st and Pine. Look at these buildings on my right. They're doing some street work, which sucks because I can't take y'all down the block. But y'all can see from here. You see the floral design and the woodwork. Oops. I got a car behind me. Look at this left. What tag is that? Hold on, what tag is that? I can't see it. Wait, Virginia tags on my right, Maine tags on my left, Ohio tags on my right. There was another tag that was strangely colored, Connecticut on my left. So as you can see, in University City, there's a ton of tags, and that's probably due to it being a college campus and a science university and all that. People probably travel here, you know, to come work, to come educate themselves. We got Virginia tags on my left. We're at 42nd and Pine. Look at the neighborhood right here. Kind of has like the similar style to the Jim Thorpe tour that I did, right? Jim Thorpe PA. The dude on my right walking around with a gas tank. I wonder if he ran out of gas. We have 42nd and Pine. Yeah, look at these houses. Yeah, PPA on my left. She she writing a ticket because he too far out on the street. Wow, she gonna do him dirty like that. Dang it. That's why it comes in handy to know how to how to park. We got St. Mark's Square. Look at these buildings. Look at this block. And another jogger on my left. Joggers is out today. Florida tags. Look at that. Electric blue. 
I believe that's the color of it. It's called electric blue. It might have a different color depending on the company, but sometimes they buy the color and then they buy the, you know, the California tags, that Prius. And after they buy the color for their car, they might name it their own, you know, company color. We're at 43rd and Pine. We got Colonial Pizza on my left hand side. There's some really nice houses on my right hand side. Now we're going up a hill. This type, this type of hill reminds me of San Francisco. I've never been to San Francisco, but you know, we all watch Full House, right? We all, I mean, for the most part, Texas, we most, for the most part, we all, you know, experience what an episode of Full House look like. Massachusetts, Massachusetts, another Massachusetts. Um, or Massachusetts, because I'm saying it like Massachusetts. But um, yeah, in San Francisco, they have a lot of hills like this. And this is a crazy hill right here. Like if I let go, look at this is a stick shift. So I'm in neutral now. Watch this. If I let it roll, 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 we out. That Yo, that was a neutral, y'all. That's how bad this, this hill is. Like I had to like give it some extra gas in order to come off of first. All right, we're at 44 Fan Pine. Look at these houses. I like the way that they painted them all different colors. Like, you look at them, they got different, like, accents, orange and blue and purple and pink and pastel -y colors, too. Like, like, lima bean green or, or pea green, you know, pea green, like P-A, P-E-A, P, like a pea that you eat, like peas. Arkansas, am I right? Texas again, New York again. There'd be a whole lot of Texas here in um, Philly. I'm telling you, there'd be a whole lot of Texas. Look at these buildings. Look on my left, look on my right. 45th and Pine. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that stone. Look at them all right. Three story, three porches. I would like one of them to be a home. They're, but they're um, university housing for the for the students. But that sucks. I would like to own one of them as a as a home. Like you know, you hit the lottery. Look at I want to buy out one of these apartment buildings. Just give me one. Give me one. I I want one, and just turn it into a home. That'd be a nice. Look at these. Look look how, yeah, brick management for rent. The ones on my left are nice too, but the ones on my right with them stones look crazy. Now we're rolling downhill. Remember we were going uphill, look at this is a neutral. Let me stop and then let it roll. This shows you the type of hill that it is because I just stopped completely and now I got in a neutral because I'm in a stick, y'all. So, you know, you always go to neutral when you come into a stop. And look at it, it's just rolling. I'm not pressing no gas. This is just gravity. Yep, and now I'm starting to slow down. Now I feather the gas a little, I mean, the gas. I feather the brake a little bit. We're at 46 and Pine. Uh, let me make this left-hand turn so y'all can just continue to see the neighbor. To be completely honest with you, man, we, we, we probably far off of Square Hill by like a few blocks, but it, it's a small neighborhood. So I'm gonna give y'all this just cause. Oh, we're on Osage Avenue. Osage Avenue definitely has some historical value, but the, the 8,000 block, we're on the 45. 100 block. I'm gonna make this left on 46 and Osage Avenue. Looks like we got a college apartment on my left. Looks like we got a student about to open up the front door to go in. For rent, for rent. A lot of these buildings are for rent. Look at them all right. One to two to three bedroom apartments. So that goes to show you. The two-story home, all right. Even these two-story homes on my right look so classy. They got the brick pointing. It's old pointing, might I add. Like the, the 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 cement in between the bricks done withered away or dithered away many years ago. But I see brick. I see wooden porches. The wooden porches are painted two, three colors. Like the crown on the one house on my left, it got burgundy. Or, yeah, burgundy, or maybe like a burgundy purple. Then they got like a like a light purple, like a powder purple, a baby purple. Then they got like a cream. Yeah, it got a lot of uh, attention to detail. Like all these crowns do. Let me let me let it roll back. Let me see. We're in neutral. Let's see how fast it rolls back. Cause we are on a slight hill, but the hill isn't that that steep. Like if I reverse back, someone let me reverse back. Cause there ain't nobody behind me. 
Y'all can see that each one of those crowns on my left are painted in detail. I like that. They didn't just paint it one color, all white or all gray or all blue. They actually focused on um, making the floral design pop out, which is cool. What you got on the leash? Cool. Uh, dog. Ah, the dog doesn't want to go. Look how dog. Look how angry that dog is. The dog straight up just stopped her. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, lady. I want to see how you treat that dog. Cause if you treat that dog crazy, I'm gonna jump out and rah, bite you for the dog. <laughs> she was trying to cross the dog. Look at, look at, look at, look at the, the dog. Don't want to listen to her. Yo, look at. She was trying to cross and the dog stopped and said no. And then now she had to play it off. Like, look at, look at, look at, she walking the complete opposite way. Look at, look at the dog just stepping her again. The dog saying, who's walking who? I'm walking you. You ain't, you ain't walking me. Yeah, that was priceless. Matter of fact, I'm about to turn here because I'm trying to be newsy. Ah! You know, 45th and Osage. Come on, lady. Come on. I want to see what you and your dog do. That was entertaining. That was pure entertainment. <laughs> look at these houses on my left-hand side. They look like some like George Jetson style. Well, not even really, because they was living in space um, type ship looking thingies, right? Hover homes. But this just doesn't fit the neighborhood. On my left, you see they're like brick, and then they got first floor garages. I like the garage theme, but they just they don't fit well. They they don't look normal with what everything else looked like over here. Should I make a right? Should I make a straight? Should I go left? I can do all three. I'm gonna make make this right because I'm still curious on what this lady and this dog is up to. She trying to play it off like if I ain't see her. Let, 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 let you hear my left. The dog did not. Oops. And I went up all one way. <laughs> Focusing on the dog. Anyway, it's cool. We just took a shortcut. Shortcut, Chico. 45th and Larchwood. Yo, she was looking at me too. I think she knew that I knew that she knew. <laughs> she knew that I knew that she knew that that dog knew that he wasn't having it. Yo, look at, they're building something right here on my right. It's probably a house or apartment. Yo, that was priceless. Me being so focused on her, but good thing I'm not a speeder. Like I wasn't speeding and I paid attention to my surroundings. I didn't pay attention to it enough to know that I was going up a one way, but it's cool. People make mistakes. Look at this little van right here on my left-hand side. It got like, <clears throat> like off-road tires. It got a rear dually set of tires. Wow. It, ha it looks like it's been like spray painted green. It has a huge roof rack. It got a side ladder. It got a rear reverse mirror. It got a spare tire up top. It got a long LED light bar. It looks like it's ready for crocodile hunting. Yo, like the crocodile hunter. Crikey, mate. That was a cool little van. All right, we're at 44th and Larchwood Ave. Look at this building on my right. That one on the corner. Brick, shingles, and burgundy and yellow paint is what I see. And that's nice. The burgundy and yellow bring out the brick. You know what I mean? Like, that's just paying attention to the detail to the, to the house. That's nice. Oh, they got the electric car plugged up. You, you seen that? Yo, I guess, yo, they had a whole electric outlet plug right down the sidewalk. Like, I guess you gotta probably apply for the city or something. Like, can I get, like, an electric port hooked up in front of my house? And I guess I pay the electricity every month because they had to charge their car up. We got Illinois tags on my right. That white vehicular device is Illinois. We're at 43rd and Larchwood. We got the Green Line Cafe right here in front of us. We got two young um, pedestrians, a young woman and a young man. You see them? Um, let's make this right here too. We can make it right here. No. Yes. No. Well, we're gonna make it make it right if we can't make it right. Let's make this right here once again. Yo, tuna straight up violating the traffic laws. I think that was a one way too, but it's cool because we was right here on the corner. Um, but yeah. So that was pretty neat. Look at these houses though. third floor you even got a little balcony i wonder how many people utilize their balcony right how many people genuinely utilize their balcony we got springfield ave in front of us so i guess we were somewhat in the perimeter clark park on my left hand side welcome to the historic clark park university city so maybe we're like really close to the clark park neighborhood because we got springfield in front of us we're on 44th. We're supposed to go to like 46th though, right? 
Yeah, because I see that giant church cathedral thingy majiggy on Baltimore Ave. Let's just make this left here. Forty-fifth and Springfield Ave. We have a Sunoco on my right-hand side. Let's make this left here, Springfield Ave. We're making this left on Forty-fifth Street. Another jogger just jogged behind me. Tons of joggers. Look at these houses. Yeah, pretty neat. Probably made in the late. I would say 1800s, early 1900s, maybe. Now, leasing. There is a ton of leased property here in this neighborhood. At 45th and Chester, check out this young man riding a bicycle on my left hand side. Enjoying his youthful years. All right, we got Clark Park on my left hand side. I'm gonna go straight, dude. You waited that whole time, and now you want to go, dude? You look, you look like a like a painter. He looks like not not like like a painter who does contracting, but he looks like he needs a cute little paintbrush and like a canvas. <laughs> he look like that type of painter. Like he'll like paint me. Passing Alabama tags. Wow. Passing Ohio tags. Wow. Let's make this right on Regent Street. Did did we turn up Regent Street? I don't know. But if we didn't, well, here we go now. Yeah, this, this this young man right here on my left-hand side. This is an uphill, so I got to take it off a second and put it in first gear. It is a two-way street. Even though it's one lane, cars are parked both ways. So I'm assuming if somebody was traveling in front of us and they were coming down, we yep, which is about to happen. With somebody, look at, ah, they had to slow down because we come, we got the majority of the block and the majority rules. <laughs> slow down, pop. Yeah, you could have came down here sharing his carry. Oh, it's a female. Look at those houses in front of us. Or those buildings. That's a four-story building. It's enormous. Thank you, sir. It's enormous. That was an enormous building right there in front of us, yo. It got to be an apartment. Four stories. Maryland. 46 and King Sessing. All right, let's make this right on King Sessing. We can make a right because there's no, no turn on red sign here. So let's make this right hand turn. Illinois tags. Vermont tags. Yeah, Vermont green. Green and white. Houses on my right had their own little driveways, Delaware tags. We're at 47th and King Sessing. 47th and King Sessing. I'm gonna make this left here so y'all can see those. Look like more modern houses made like less than 20 years ago. No, it's a no outlet. I don't even wanna go there, but I just said I was gonna go there to show y'all, man. OCD says, go there, tune, suck it up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make this left hand turn here because I did say. It's just, it's a no outlet. So, right here on Renard. You see these houses on my right? They look, look at, there's actually a whole little, uh, Tyler, um, pre K camp there. Everybody playing. That's what's up. I'm gonna make this right here, but it's a no outlet. But I just wanna show y'all these houses. As y'all can see, everything we've seen through here looked historical. These houses look like a suburban community. Look, and they're made right here around the corner from all that stuff that we just saw. One is for sale. Look at that. One is for sale under contract. So if anybody is interested in moving in this neighborhood, there you go. The 4700 block of Raynard Street for sale. Keller Williams is selling the house on my left. You got a little lawn. You got a little picket fence. You got a driveway. Check it out. Right in West Philly. They don't look like they go in West Philly. And it's definitely a no outlet, cause look at, and then we got these hood homes right here on my left. Look at, look at these little two two story hood looking homes. <laughs> Yo, we have to make a U turn here though, cause this is definitely a no outlet. Well, here we go. Oh, and then you got a hood block right behind you. You got a two story straight up hood block, right? You see how it doesn't match? 
it don't match whatsoever. You got those two story homes right there that look like most of Philly. Most of Philly looks like that, right? Look at it. Right, right now, I feel like we ain't even on a suburban block, right? Look, at it. it looked like we in North Philly, or we in West Philly, we in South Philly, right? Or we in Northwest, or whatever you want to say, right? And then, boom, we come over here. Well, the back of those houses kind of make it still look look like Philly a little bit, but I'm trying to make this exaggerated wide turn so y'all can see these houses right here. Boom, right here, boom. And then you look all on my right, and they don't match. Yeah, they don't match. I mean, they're nice buildings. I do see the sides of them, the aluminum siding kind of peeling off, and uh, the one right there got solar panels. Somebody was thinking way, way ahead of the curve. Somebody was thinking a long time ago, like, yo, look at we gonna save our electricity bill, and we gonna invest in some solar panels. Whoa, dude. Swerving that pothole. Upland. This is that street right there. This, this is that little 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 hood block right here. How about I do this for y'all? Y'all wanna see Upland? Let me show you Upland, but I'm gonna show y'all Upland in style. Since it's a no outlet, it only makes sense to just reverse the block so we don't gotta make a U-turn, right? Right? What do you think? You guys wanna see where Tunes reverse game is at, huh? Uh, 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 uh. All right, there we go. Now we are currently on Upland. We are on the 4700 block of Upland Street. <laughs> this is the no outlet. This is that little block that was behind the little suburban looking block. As y'all can see, you got like, you know, porches, open porches. These porches got an A top that, that you know, um, binds, B-I-N-D, bind, which, you know, means um, joins the two porches. This one on my right doesn't have an A top, it has a flat top, a flat angular top. I said angular. I took the rect out of rectangular and I said angular. <laughs> it's a no outlet block though. All right, once again, we're gonna make this turn down 47th Street. Gold Star Pizza on my left hand side. Fried chicken, steaks, hoagies, strombolis, salads, and more. I used to love Stromboli's when I used to eat that. Well, I used to love them. Gold Star Chicken Pizza. We're at 47th and Woodland Ave. I'm gonna make this right. We got one of those scooters. Yo, I've been seeing those scooters everywhere. We're at 47th and Woodland. I'm gonna make this, oh, I said 47, 48th and Woodland. I'm gonna make this right, right here on 48th. We're now on 48th Street and boom. We got a bunch of just scattered trash and ungroomed greenery or brownery because it's kind of brown. That's that railroad that, that separates that's the um, railroad track that I saw on the map that separates Squirrel Hill from the other neighborhood. So on the opposite side of that, that what you call them, that um, what you call them, that little train track thingy, Majiggy, that's Squirrel Park. This over here is King Sessing, and we passed this in the beginning. Remember, you remember, remember the little scepter thingy, Majiggy, right here, the little scepter doohickey. We're at um, 49th, we're at 49th. We got 49th Grande, but then again, we are at 49th Street, but that's the Grande 49th Street food market. I didn't have my uh, Wheaties this morning, so my brain is um, not functioning accordingly. No, true, for real, for real. I, I didn't eat nothing before I left, and yeah. My, my brain isn't um, functioning accordingly, but it's cool. I take responsibility for my flaws. <laughs> Passing Raynard Street, but I definitely want to get some food right after this. We're at um, 49th and King Sessing Ave. I'm going to casually take this yellow. Yeah, this is a little train boundary right under us. There's like a little train boundary. That's what separates the neighborhood. 
And as you can see, the house is automatically changed. And on my right, that house is looking different. We have 49th and Chester Ave. We got the Media Elwin line on my left hand side. Scepter 49th Street uh, Station. We got Jennifer Grocery on my right hand side. We got the Church of God in the Word. Passing, uh, what's that? Hekima Pomoja. So I guess it was some type of restaurant. Passing St. Bernard Street. I got vehicles behind me. I'm sorry, guys. As you can see, the streets have brick. And they have the trolley line, which makes it very bumpy to drive on. All right, we got Springfield Ave right here. I'm just gonna cross Springfield Ave. It's cool, y'all. Oh, we got that Wally, um, that Waldy Mini Market, right? I said Wally. Did I say Wally earlier? Earlier. I'm telling you, my brain. But lately, I've been having a lot of trouble with stuttering too. Like when I'm not on camera. Remember, I told y'all that. I don't know if y'all remember, but. <clears throat> If you guys are not familiar with the channel, I've spoken about this on several occasions in the past about me having a speech impediment. Most people go, Tune, but we can't hear the speech impediment. You don't stutter? No, I stutter. And when I'm off camera lately, I've been feeling the stuttering come a lot. And it comes and goes, it's like seasonal almost. Like throughout my childhood, it was heavy. We're at 49th and Haddington. I'm gonna make this left right here. Let's just make this, this left. And um, throughout my life, I've always stuttered. It, it was it was constant when I was a youngster, up until I was in middle school. Then I was able to control it, and then when I got to my uh, high school and adult years, again it was seasonal. Let's make this right on St. Bernard. St. Bernard's right here. Ah, uh, we already went through St. Bernard's, didn't we? I feel like we already went. This is that 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 two way street. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't gonna come through here again. So so yeah, um, it was it, it was seasonal. And now it's kind of like like a seasonal thing. Definitely is like a seasonal thing. It comes and goes. Like I go through months without any stuttering, and then some months I like stutter stronger than others. And I think this is one of those months where I'm kind of like slurring, stuttering. I'm mixing up my words. My brain isn't thinking accordingly. But it's cool. It's part of being a human being, you know. I'm not a machine. Look at that Stingray on my left hand side. Y'all seen that Corvette? Not a big Corvette fan, but yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. <sighs> We're at 50th and Florence Ave. We're doing some type of, I guess, plumbing work on my left hand side, a side work, sidewalk work, something. Because they are shoveling dirt. From, yeah, it is plumbing because they got the plumbing pipes out. Texas, California. Pentridge. Let's make this right down Pentridge. I feel like I haven't said Pentridge. Watch this not be anything spectacular. We got this new building on my left hand side, a new construction. We got another new construction on my right hand side. You see how that one got the roof deck? It, it looks like two story like the rest of them, but it got a roof deck. And look, it, it looks like some of the other people here. With the original houses, opted to have roof decks. They're like, man, bump that. Everybody in the city's getting a roof deck. I'm gonna spend my income tax check on a roof to, on a roof deck. <laughs> and we didn't know where their um, stimulus check went. It went to a roof deck. Look at on my right hand side. That's an original house from the neighborhood, but they added a roof deck. Although that roof deck fence looks like it's slouching in a little bit, so I don't know how legit the work they got done was, because it looks like it's um, starting to like cave in almost. But who knows? New garage on my left. Nice little garage. Look at this building on my right. They added a new building too with two decks. They said, what? You want to compete with us? We got a deck on the second floor and we got a deck on the third floor. Get off my deck. Do do do. You didn't you didn't you didn't get it? Get off get off my deck. Get off my deck. You didn't get that pun. Well anyway, yeah, but look at they got two decks. Wow. Oh, that sounds crazy. <laughs> they got two decks. It's cool. I only got one deck. <laughs> I ain't got no deck though. Think about it. Like as far as the house goes, I don't I don't have a house deck, but that'll be pretty pretty cool, you know? A house deck. We're talking about house decks here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make this right here. We got Baltimore to my left. Baltimore Ave. 12 hours later. I'm gonna make this right hand turn here so I can show you guys these little houses on my left hand side with, with garages and whatnot. Garages and whatnot. 
garages and whatnot. We're on 49th and Florence Ave. I'm gonna make this left hand turn on Florence Avenue. Florence Avenue, you're gonna stop there, Chevy. You're gonna stop there. You see my you see my signals is on. You was coming from way back when. It says do not enter, so that's perfect. We got to see that Volkswagen. I like that little Volkswagen convertible. And I wanted to go this way. And I actually wanted to go to, to Baltimore. I'm gonna be completely honest with you because I wanted y'all to see this this uh, message that they put on top of this building. Look at this message they put on top of this building. I guess the universe wanted me to end off the video here because we have reached our one hour mark, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for dealing with my craziness. I appreciate your support. <laughs> we probably didn't cover the whole um, Squirrel Hill neighborhood because yeah, it's just been a mess today. But I think I want to have me some uh, lunch, some lunch before I continue the next tours because I definitely need some energy inside my body, inside my body, so that I can provide a quality experience for you guys. No, but for real, for real, thanks for hanging out. Stay tuned to the next one. Show some love. You know, that's what the comment section is for. Beat up that thumbs up button. Look at this little dog. What's up, doggy? Move, lady. I want to see your doggy. All we saw was a string walking by. Anyway, this is your boy, Mr. Toonie. Toon dollars. They said, yo, did you say two dollars? <laughs> I ain't say two dollars. I said toon dollars. T-O-O-N. Toon dollars. Mr. Toon dollars. Yo, can I say it with like a British accent or like a UK accent? Toon dollars. Did you guys know about that YouTuber Toon dollars? <laughs> All right, guys. This is your boy Toon215, and I'm tuning out.